end-to-end -end testing is vital for rapid recovery in times of crisis. You know, a test should be non-disruptive and it shouldn't need to be initiated by a human. It should be automated and assured because when you're in crisis, things need to just work. I'm joined today by our amazing technical marketing engineer, Liji Karuvla, and he's gonna show us why you're only as good as your last test. Hi, Liji. So now this is really serious stuff. We strongly recommend organizations create a cybersecurity response plan, and one that they can put into action if there is ever a suspected ransomware incident. This is not limited to one or two workloads or virtual machines. These are business service level plans. You want to be able to make sure you can recover multi-tier applications that have dependencies in a predictable manner so that the business can come back online. As the old adage goes, practice makes perfect. And there's no shortcuts to getting predictable results outside of executing a non-disruptive rehearsal operation. I'm going to show you how. In this video, I'd like to show how we can take a multi-tier business application, a virtual business service as we call it, and bring it online in an isolated environment at another site. Resiliency groups over here define the individual applications, whereas a virtual business service is a collection of resiliency groups with a relationship kind of like tier zero, tier one, tier two, and that allows us to define a workflow of how these applications can come online or go offline. Clicking the rehearsal button is as easy as it gets in terms of moving this virtual business server that has multiple tier applications in this case, from say a New York to a London data center. So you can view the progress. This is a multi-tier application. So in this case, the resiliency groups, the first one that is going to move across is the Oracle database. After the Oracle database is moved across, we have the WebLogix application moving next. And then finally, we also have an Nginx load balancer application that is scheduled to move after that. Sonia, what we just did is pretty powerful stuff. We just took a multi-tier business application, kind of like maybe an HR department, and just moved it from one location to another. With our resiliency plans, we can actually do this at scale. Using this visual editor, you can create a template that defines your runbook for restoring your business. For example, here, let's go and take a business service and you can define the business service from a list of services that you're pre-configured. So here I'm choosing uh, the finance service that we have. You can choose the source and the location where you want to send it to. You can also inject some custom scripts that are part of your workflow into the process as well. So that makes tailored for you. Now, the beauty of all of this is this can be saved and then non-disruptively rehearsed into any environment that you want, whether it's to the cloud or whether it is into an isolated recovery environment. Our customers in regulated industries often ask us how they can easily meet their compliance obligations. Can NetBackup help with that? Absolutely, Sonia. Customers can rely on NetBackup for their regulatory and compliance needs for data protection use cases. We just demonstrated how you could take a multi-tier application or an entire data center and move it from one location to another or into an isolated environment for non-disruptive rehearsal and testing purposes. This whole operation can be scheduled, and that schedule can also be associated with a report that you can generate and hand over for compliance and audit purposes. That's how easy and incredible it is for customers. Great, Liji. Hey, thanks for spending time with us today. You know, it's vital to implement solutions that test to a non-disruptive sandbox or isolated recovery environment. Remember, test early and test often.